Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing the After Effects tutorial for stream pumping. Sorry this one's a bit late, I had some issues with rendering and recording because my desktop audio would not record and it was a right pain and it really sort of meant that everything didn't work. So I've sorted that now, we've got action up here, we've got After Effects up, we've got Audacity up here. Everything's working swimmingly and we've got the new channel banner in the background. So today's tutorial is going to be on screen pumping, those things that where it wubs in sync with the music and it's cool and all that. Um, so, because these effects are more advanced now, as opposed to click tracks and stuff, I'm going to show you a quick preview of what the effect looks like. So that is going to be up now. And so there we are, hope you enjoyed that little preview, that's taken one of my many montages with this effect in. So uh, to be doing this tutorial, you will need to have the previous tutorial, which uh, I've watched it, which is click tracks, and that will be up in the bottom right of the screen right now. If you click that, make sure you have annotations enabled and go to the well, tutorial. It's pretty simple. Uh, all it is is you use Audacity, you grab yourself a click track of the song you're going to use, and then you bring it into your project. So I'm going to use the song I've already got a click track for because I'm lazy. Um, and you people, you know how to do that. You don't need a tutorial on that. So let me find where on earth is like data YouTube. There we are. Audio. Right, I'm going to use Iris because I like Iris and I have a click track for Iris. So once you've got your click track, let's uh, into the project. Let's bring in Iris. Uh, let's bring in a click. We need the actual song, which is in my downloads folder somewhere. Was in my downloads folder somewhere. There it is. Let's bring you in. Don't need you. Now, next thing we're going to need is some footage. So let's go to video action. I don't quite know what we're going to use. I have quite a lot of footage. Um, you know, something like this will probably do. Oh, God. That will do. You know, we're gonna go with this because it looks like something interesting. Actually, you know what? Let's let's do a replay mod video. That's why not? Because we have lots of those in abundance. Right, give us a load. Let's use. I think the most recent render is probably the easiest. So as you can see, oh, I tell you what. Let's use this one where I jumped off the building. Right, drag that in. Drag it into a new comp. Well, After Effects has to think about whether it wants to work or not. Drag it into a new comp, and so if we just give that a quick preview by hitting zero. So as you can see, this is what our video looks like. There's no audio because it's a replay mod render and it's jittering a bit because I'm recording and After Effects doesn't like me. But anyway, we'll, ju we'll just stick with that. I'll show you the full render afterwards. So let's drag in Iris because we're not using the full, uh, we're just doing a few seconds of a clip. I will, I'm going to see if I can get this to like a point that we want. So where, where is the drop? That's, no, it's not going to play audio, is it? It's going to be awkward. You're awkward. And drops it about. About two minutes. Right, that's helpful. Let's go to two minutes and just click start layer now. So if we click, just hide this for now, hit zero. As you can see, it's skipping a bit, but it is there. So if we hold control, you can hear it starts here. So if we drag in click iris, actually put it on top and hit arrow audio waveform. As you can see, boom, we got our lovely click track. Oh. We can see the waveform, we can see what it looks like, and it's going to make it a lot easier to time with. So let's make sure the click track and the track you're trying to, to in time... What? Make sure the click track's in time with what you're trying to sync to. Because... As you can see, I can see the, the peak uh, of the song right there. So those... Let's hit Alt and right left bracket, and make them the start. So now, if I hit zero... Time stuff. So let's now unhide our video. We're gonna hide. We're gonna mute 
de-click for now. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make a bulge. So type in the effect presets panel. Search for the bulge effect. Now this effect is quite simple. You do this. You make the radius big. You make the radius big. You make the bulge big. But that looks bad because I just did it in about six seconds. So what we're going to do is we are going to use specific figures for the horizontal and vertical radius. This is if you are using 1080p video because you have to make the bulge into quite a big oval shape that fits around the uh, around the footage. So in our bulge, we're going to want the figures 1, 6, 3, 9, and 673 for the horizontal and vertical radius of the bulge. This will give us a nice bulge so that it looks a little bit, well, not bad when we change the bulge height. So let's set that to zero. After Effects is being awkward. It doesn't want to render. It does this sometimes. Um, as you can see, that right, there we are. The height has to set zero, right, it's, it's, it's updated. So what we're now want, going to want to do is keyframe the bulge height. You've got to make sure the center is set to 965.40. Anti-aliasing you don't really need because it's it's a screen pumping to a dubstep song. So what you're going to want to do is find a bulge height that works for you. So I think maybe about, maybe about 0.5. So let's, uh, at the beat, we're going to want to hit that keyframe on the bulge height. So for now, let's just make some keyframes and just put them on every ball try. You can copy and paste this, there's some leeway because of the way the effect works. So if we just do Control C, Control V, so move them back one maybe, and a bit of Control C, Control V, and a bit more. Oh, so that magical copy and paste it solves everything. Greatest tool known to man. Uh, so let's do a short preview of what we've created. So now all you can see, you won't see anything because the bulge height is just permanently keyframed at about 0.5. So now what you're going to want to do is make it so the bulge goes up when the beat starts. So if we set it to zero right there, what you're going to see is it goes duh, 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 and it's got a suddenly pump. So go about one, two, three, four, four frames before and take that frame of none and just copy and paste it onto all of these. I probably could have done this beforehand, but it doesn't matter because you should always watch the full tutorial before you actually learn something because it makes you actually learn rather than just copying. It's it's a bit easier, so I'd recommend that if you're watching all of these. So let's four and one, two, three, four. Now I'll uh, jump back to you in a minute when I've done all of these. So, as you can see, all we have at the minute is some beeping footage that's syncing. Now, don't worry, uh, all you have to do now is we just pause that for a second, mute the iris track, and uh, unmute the click track. As you can see, I've just shortened it just to the short preview area because it's, uh, it's a preview. Uh, these, don't worry, these effects are completely changeable. So, if you think it's pumping too quickly, drag those back a bit. If you think it's pumping too much, bring down the, the ball shite keyframe. It's completely up to you on how you want it, and it's completely different for each piece of footage. I'm just using it something that I know looks relatively good, and it's uh, vaguely, vaguely? It's rather imp simple to sort of show in a tutorial like this. So here is the final result. <laughs> like to thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy the video and it helped you please leave a like if you really liked it click that subscribe button and if you want up to your friends to see if you want this uh, more of these tutorials to keep coming if you want more publicity please could you share this on something because sharing is something that people on YouTube don't seem to encourage much and it really does help for videos because my views have been stuck at a sort of 40 year video for a long time and I'm really trying to push to get that out so there'll be no in screen that today because I haven't finished my new end screen that goes with the rest of the channel. So I'd just like to say goodbye, and thanks for watching.